Hey everybody, I wanted to um, do a little experiment and um, I was going to show you what I'm doing. I want to try to grow some root vegetables in hydroponics. Um, it's the only thing that I haven't been able to do very well uh, thus far. So I thought I'd start with some radishes and I have some, uh, some nice little china rose radishes here. And um, I have this container, which I think is a quart, and I have this container that sits right in, in the top of it. And what I did is I, I um, put a bunch of holes in this, I don't know if I can show you, with my soldering iron. And I didn't want to fill this whole thing up with clay pebbles, so I thought I'd just put a little bit in here, put this on top, I'm going to fill this up with nutrient solution until it comes up almost to the top of the pebbles. And then I'll put my seed in. I have this uh, foil here just to block the light and a little humidity cover. So today we're just going to plant this out and then you know I'll do some updates and I'll put a whole video together. And um, I'll put that on my YouTube. But for now... I'll probably share this on my Facebook group, Passive Hydroponics featuring the grow pipe. So what I'll do, I think I'll just pour it right through here so I can see when I've come up high enough. This is how I start seedlings a lot of times. I start the seedlings for the grow pipe in a little container of clay pebbles by just filling it up until you're almost to the top of the pebbles. I'm going to bring this over and show you. So you can see it's just about, you know, like a quarter of an inch from the top of the pebbles. Half inch. And I always plant a little bit heavier than I need to so that, um, you know, some aren't going to make it. A few seeds will, will sink down too deep. And um, if they're overcrowded, I could always pick out some later. So I'm just taking a little pinch, and I'm going to, I don't know, I'll put about, probably too many, but that's okay, because we'll see what happens. And then uh, we can always pull some out. So I've sprinkled them in there, and I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get my mister. Most of them are going to be wet because they're sitting in the water pretty much. But just in case anything didn't get wet, I sprayed a little bit. Here's my, um, this was the uh, the plastic cover. I cut the, the, the rim out because that's how I do it for my microgreens planters. And I saved this little inner portion and I'm going to use that as the humidity dome just so that it um, doesn't evaporate too much. And we'll come back. Th these radishes sprout really quick, so I'm thinking, you know, probably in four or five days, I'll have some little uh, babies up, and we'll see how it goes, and uh, see if we can grow some radishes on uh, hydroponically an easy way. If this works, you know, then we could easily scale something up to um, to do beets or to do, you know, to do more radishes. Uh, but I just wanted to see if this would work and use a, a small amount of clay pebbles. I didn't want to have to fill up the whole big container. So we'll see how it goes. So I'm just giving an update on the uh, radish experiment that I did with these two containers. I have one container on top, a shallow container. It rests in a deeper container and I have a bunch of holes in the bottom as I showed you before and so these look like they're doing okay they look really healthy um, this kind of radish what I realized is this this radish you see that long pink stem that is actually the radish because this is a china rose and they don't grow bulbs they grow like uh, long 
fruits that almost, uh, I think they can get to be s seven or eight inches long, but generally about two or three inches long. And so you can see them. Let's see if we can see a better one. See one there. So they'll just get thicker and thicker. And so I think this method's going to work. But while I was doing that, I had to thin these out a little bit. So I, um, I grabbed a couple babies and just stuck them in a half inch hole into a coffee can with nutrient solution. And so these, you can see they're starting to get their, their red little stem on there, which is the uh, radish. So this would, if this works, this would actually be better because we wouldn't even need the clay pebbles or the two, two, uh, two tier setup. We would just be able to uh, get a tote or whatever we want, drill a bunch of half inch holes and put our little babies in there. And then our, our root vegetables would be ready inside the container when we wanted them. We could just lift them up and cut them off from the bottom side. So anyway, that's what's happening so far. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm going to put a video together of uh, the first, second, and then I'll, the third part will be the uh, the final outcome and the harvest, if there is a harvest. Hopefully there will be. So that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching. Everyone, so I'm back again with another update on these um, radishes that I planted in the clay pebbles with the little container on top and the big container on the bottom. Um, now I'm realizing these radishes, the China Rose radishes, go for 52 days and they're going to be much too big for in here. So I'm going to, I made up a five gallon bucket out in my studio. I'm going to bring these out to the studio and I'm going to hope I can pull these out and get those roots out of the holes without damaging them too much. So we'll see how that goes. This one I pulled early, when I thinned these out earlier, and just stuck it in a coffee can with um, solution. So you can see the nice radish forming there. These get to be a few inches long, and uh, well, quite long actually, like they can be six or eight inches long, but I'm thinking generally they're three or four inches long. So I don't know how they're going to do. I got a half inch hole in the top. So this will be a fun experiment to see how this works out. I'm going to go out to the studio now and try to pull these out and drop them in the bucket I have ready. So I'll take you with me out there and um, we'll see how that goes. This is the bucket I set up for these radishes. So I'm going to try to film this while, while holding the, uh, the thing. My concern is that these radishes aren't going to want to come out of here without damaging the roots, but we're going to try. I've got nine holes, half inch holes in this bucket lid. So this is a totally uh, experimental setup. Let's see if we can get one of these out with us without damaging the roots and get a fairly straight Okay, well they're coming out, but they're all kind of tangled together, so. Okay, so here's the first one I got out. And I'm going to try to get this all in there. I have no idea if this um, small hole is going to choke off the radish, if the whole radish will grow underneath um, inside this bucket, or if the crown will come up. I don't know. So we'll see. The uh, solution is about uh, two inches from the top and I expect they'll flop around a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and get this planted and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay so there they are all planted. They're all kind of floppy but I think they'll straighten out. So we'll see what happens. I've got two little babies left here that I'll stick into a mason jar or something and try them in that. And uh, I'll come back to this and uh, 
probably a few weeks. Okay, so this is the final update on my China Rose Radish experiment. So I transferred them from the original situation into this bucket with half inch holes in the bucket lid and I'm using Master Blend nutrient solution and so let's take a look inside we have a nice big fat one here these radishes are a variety that are supposed to grow kind of long and uh, I think these are about ready at least uh, these big ones there are some smaller ones uh, over here so probably uh, the nice thing about this is when they're in this way I can see how big they are before I pick them you know, not like in soil so I'll probably harvest uh, the biggest ones and then leave the others to go and see uh, see if they come come along too so yeah you can crack key um, radishes so I'd like to try uh, beets and carrots this way and see if it will work you can see you got some massive greens on this radish and uh, I don't know if there's any way by if the container were smaller if the roots would be bigger or or maybe the opposite uh, but the other thing I want to try next time is um, besides doing it this way is maybe a wicking a wicking planter where I'll have my water in a container below and a wick up into a uh, potting soil mix and try to grow some root vegetables that way and see how that compares this did work um, at least for radishes so but I will uh, I will also plant some carrots and some beets and we'll give that a try in this bucket and then I'll also be trying the uh, wicking method so I went ahead and harvested this uh, largest one, the China Rose Radish. And here's the greens for that one. And radish greens are edible too. So uh, I'll, I'll probably steam these up and uh, put a little olive oil, maybe some garlic on them. And uh, they're very good. And so we'll give this a try and see how it tastes. So I cut it all up and we're just uh, we're enjoying the radish and this is my wife she's going to tell you what she thinks. How's the radish honey? Good. That is delicious. That is the best radish I ever had. Really? Really. What do you like about it? It's not too strong. It's very white. If you could see the radish before you cut it up, it's a beautiful light pink color, like a rose color. It's just delicious. It's like you can sit here and eat it like you would, like little apple slices. Very good. Yeah, I thought it was very good. I like the China Rose because it was spicy, but yet not too hot. And the texture was very nice. It wasn't woody at all, even though it grew for quite a long time. Well, thank you. You're welcome.